All right, so we're in LA at H2O Supply. And what they do here is they sell supplies, as y'all can see. They got all the frames for your setup for your vans. They do detailing. It's an all-in-one stop shop here, you guys. So you guys tap in in the LA area. Show them some love, y'all. But right. anyways, come on. You gonna show us the basic stuff? Yep, so the basic stuff you're gonna need if you're a detailer. Check this out, we're gonna rock with the PNS, man. PNS, so we got, where we have? We got the all-purpose cleaner. All-purpose. Self-explanatory. All right, so what we got? We okay, got okay, I know it's self-explanatory, but all-purpose cleaner, right? What is it? A soap? It's not a wax, right? No, it's not no. for the body. It's not it's for, for it's for the inside of the vehicle. All purpose. You can spray it on the leather. You can spray it on the dashboard. You can hit it up actually with the rims too, the tires if you want. Mm. So, the, all, all right. purpose. Got it. Got it. All right. Then we got the shampoo. This is my favorite kind of a uh, uh, job right here. All right. So, put that up in your. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's that? Where's that? Ah. Pump sprayer right here. Get you a little pump sprayer. Pour this in here, and get the spray in the uh, the seats, the floors, and uh, get the job done, you guys. All right. So next up, we got <clears throat> let's see, brake buster total wheel cleaner. This is for your tires and your rims. Spray that on and get your scrub on. <laughs> get your brush. Whatever you use to clean your tires and rims. All right. Then next, we got your shampoo. Bam. This is where you put get the foam cannon. So, for instance, ah, I'll snatch this up right here. Bam. Pour some of this in here, right here. Bam. Foam it up real nice, like you see in the picture, right here. Come on. Right. <clears throat> what we got next? What we got next? I suggest that you go with the big, big daddies right here, so you're not in and out of the store. Let me ask you, buying in bulk, buying in gallons, is that better for a beginner, or should a beginner buy smaller, like maybe bottles? Okay. What do you think? Uh, for a beginner, I would suggest you do go with at least these right here, because you don't know the type of traffic you're going to be getting. But me, I'm an all-out type of person. I'm going with big daddies right there, because we're going to get that work. Come in with confidence. All right. What else we got? Oh, we got the bead maker, man. This is your uh, sealant protection right here. <clears throat> Lasts about one to two months. You just spray that on after your wash while the car is still wet, and it's gonna give you a protection and a shine. It's the product right here. Go with this one. All Let right. Me Remember when you just got the little bottle to test it out and the Maserati? Yes, sir. How'd you feel that. about it now? Um, Cause that, that was your first time doing it. It was, yeah. Well, based off the comments um, on my YouTube channel, everybody was like, hey, that's the top. That's the, that's the product you want to go with. Um, it brought a beautiful shine and it smelled good too. But um, this top dog is right here. So definitely worth it. Definitely worth it, for sure. So I think we got the, the liquids down. Okay. Let's talk about the equipment. You think you could, I know you saw that pump, you saw the foam cannon. All right, let's go to the... All right, you gotta have your vacuum. This is a good vacuum, this is the one I rock with. It's powerful, it's small. You ain't gotta get the big old, big vacuum. This one's fine right here, all right? Definitely, if you can. Well, this isn't a must, but if you wanna be organized, you wanna get your electrical right there. Bam, that plugs into the generator. Come around back here. <clears throat> if you want to save money, then you know you can talk to the customers and hook up to their power source. But I suggest that you get you a generator. Bam, it's right there. Oh, my favorite right here. The Minty Extractors. If you can afford it, this is a must right here. I started with the Bissell Pro, but it snapped on me because it's a little bit cheaper. It's $160 for the Bissell Pro, but then I went out and upgraded to this. This was the best move I've ever made right here. Bam. So this is the extractor. Where is that? Ah. So this is the tool that you use to suck up the, all the gunk and stuff from the seats after you drill them. Bam. Get you an extractor. 
All right. Phone cannon. You know, you want to show out when you're out there on the job. Um, it draws a lot of attention. When people see you foaming up a car, they want to know what you're doing. So get a foam cannon, for sure. Where's your washers right here? Oh. No? Where's the, uh, the system? Have you seen the pressure washers? Oh, I'm sure they got it, I'm sure they got it. The pressure washer. You said go electric, not yeah. gas? Um, I, I suggest, it's my opinion, that you go electric because if you're a morning person, 6 a.m., I get up at 6. Um, nobody wants to hear a big old loud gas pressure washer. So you come in there quiet, get the job done. And um, another benefit of electric is you don't have to worry about taking somebody's paint off. It's not as powerful. So if you like power, then you want to go with gas. If you're not getting up as early, go with gas. So they both have their good and bad. So that's up to you to make that decision. And then uh, <clears throat> polishers, like the, do you think everybody needs a polish? When you say polisher, mm -hmm. you're talking about the liquid or like the equipment? That's the equipment, so that's gonna be the equipment you use for paint correction, scratches. Do beginners need that? Um, some people are coming in with some experience. So if you're coming in with experience, then of course go pick you up a polisher, but most people, they're not coming in with experience. Stay away from that, unless you're just doing some basic waxing. You know what I mean? You can get the polisher, put some wax on it. You know, waxing is easy. But other than that, you don't need that starting out. Got it. And then another thing was, how many towels do you think someone should start with? Sheesh. Oh my gosh. I didn't have a system with towels. So I was using small towels for everything to dry the vehicle. I was running through probably like 100 towels in a day. I didn't have a system. So what I mean by system, you want to get your, uh, what's the towels that you ring out? The ShamWiles? The ShamWiles, yep, ShamWiles. So I would hit that first, <clears throat> then double back with a bigger towel and get the excess water that's left over. And then I got the small towels for the rims. So you gotta, you know, get your structure done and what works for you. But don't just use one set of towels for everything because some are polishing towels, some are towels for the interior and you don't want to mix everything up. So figure out your system and, and make it work. All right, so so when you're starting, all the basic stuff that you're going to need, you're going to need a pressure washer, which if your money is low, you don't really need that. You can go there and use their water hose. You know what I mean? But pressure washer, um, you're going to need a vacuum. You're going to need towels. You're going to need chemicals. And that's pretty much it. Would you? That's, that's really that basic to get started. And as you go, just start adding more and more stuff in. Me, I went out and grabbed everything because I like to have everything available if I need to use something. But those are the basic things you need. And uh, stop making excuses and just get out there and, and get it, man. All right, you guys, so if you enjoy this quick video, show me some love, drop a comment down below, and uh, let's talk about it. Uh, there's new guys down there below. Help me, help them, we a community. It's all love, y'all.